Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is day one of my three day egg fast. So I was away over the weekend and probably ate a lot more, a lot more carbs certainly than I should have. Um, so I want to do this three day egg fast as a kind of a reset. Um, I've been struggling to get back into proper 100% keto since we, we moved. Um, so I've decided to do this three day egg fast and because so many of you have asked, I'm going to document it. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to test my blood sugar right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm um, just setting up to test my blood sugar and then um, I'm going to weigh myself. So um, let's see what our starting off point is. I don't have any number in mind in terms of weight loss. Um, if I got two or three pounds out of it, I'd be happy. Um, more obviously would be nicer um, So what I'm actually doing I'm going to test my blood sugar now, but I'm not going to eat yet, anything yet I'm actually not hungry. So I'm going to fast until I am hungry. So I'll test my blood sugar and then I'm going to weigh myself Very helpful cat walking around so apologies if Okay, so I've just Let's see if I can get enough for this Okay. 88. Okay. So, surprisingly enough, that's the the best it's been. Oh. Very helpful cat walking around as I said. Um that's the best it's been for a very long time. I'm very surprised that that number I was expected it to be up over the hundreds. Um but anyway, um I'm going to go weigh myself now and um, then I'm going to go do some work. Okay, so that's the current situation, nearly 76 kilograms, which annoys me because the lowest I was was 71, which means that it's like five kilograms, which is like 10 pounds. Um, and it just shows me that um i've really really lost the momentum lost the um the strictness i suppose um so what i'm doing is during this egg fast so i still haven't eaten yet it's half 10 um and i still haven't eaten anything yet because i'm also incorporating something that i was talking about in my last video which is um being mindful of how my body feels so I went to the supermarket this morning um, to get some food for um, the rest of my family for the next couple of days and while I was there I was feeling hungry and I said right okay when I get back I'll make myself some eggs sorry <laughs> um, but now that I'm back and I've unpacked the the shopping and I ran Around the Hoover around, I'm I'm not hungry again. So um, I'm gonna make myself a cup of black tea and then go do some work and then I'll see when I'm when I'm hungry I'll eat something. So it's ten past one and I still haven't eaten yet. Um, but I'm getting quite cold, so that's I have a, a nice big thick hoodie on, um, and that usually happens when when I'm kind of need to eat when I feel hungry. I'm not feeling hugely hungry yet, but I'm going to put on some eggs now. So what I'm going to eat um, for this meal is uh, some, I'm going to boil three eggs and I'm going to have them with butter and with shredded, um, shredded uh, cheddar cheese and a little bit of shredded mozzarella.
we were in Italy over the weekend, I did go and do some shopping, um, some food shopping. So I bought some biscuits for my daughter, but I bought this tea and a butter that I wanted to I wanted to show you, right? So let me just show you what I got. Okay, so this tea, um, double pasta means it's after dinner, after after a meal, and it's um it's mint and aniseed. You can see the the star anise there, and it's absolutely delicious. I had one after dinner last night. And it was really, really tasty. I wish we had smell a vision so you could smell um, what these are like. Oh, they're delicious. The, the mint and the aniseed together um, just make such a really nice flavour. And then, of course, I bought myself some butter. So that's uh, from Ajari. It's just a, um, it's basically like, like a dairy. Um, I know fromage is cheese, but it, it's um, this is it, it's a bit different. So even though this is um, this was made in Italy, it, it, it is kind of French. Where we were, um, where we were is um, it's a town called Courmayeur, um, which obviously sounds quite French. And um, I think at one time it was part of France and the border changed. So. They still use some French, and that's why you see uh, fromagerie rather than um, the the Italian. But um, if you have a look, um, you can see that it's it actually is from Italian milk. Um, so it's a really nice big chunk of butter. I'm really looking forward to trying it. Um, I don't know if it's salted. It doesn't say. I'm assuming it's a little bit got a little bit of salt in it. Um, but I can always add some to it. So I'm going to put this in the eggs as well. lunch finished well lunch slash breakfast so <clears throat> I'm just having a cup of tea now um it was nice I mean I've had I've had eggs like that before um I used to actually when I was going to the office I, I used to bring them like that and, and have them for breakfast um it, I'm not full as in like I don't feel the feeling of full but I'm not hungry anymore so as I started to make the food and I saw the, the smell the, the smell of the eggs and I saw the butter and the cheese obviously I started to feel a little bit hungry um it's in terms of volume obviously it's not much but it's it's quite um quite a lot of fat so I, I don't expect to be hungry um too quickly but I think I'll have um something similar uh for dinner I might um, I might just do boiled eggs again I might do four this time instead of three and um, just so there's a little bit more but we'll see how hungry I get later but for the moment um, I'm quite happy with that it was really tasty it was nice and salty and the eggs have a lovely taste obviously and then um, having the the cheese on it as well I think it's, um, it's does the texture of the food is really nice and I think that that counts for a lot so we'll see what happens later the one thing that I am worried about um, is later on when when everybody's home so 
obviously um, Mr. Kato's at work and, and our daughter's at school so it, it's quite easy for me to have just eggs and, and not have any issues but obviously when they come home later they're going to be cooking um, I don't think I don't think it's going to be particularly difficult not to eat the dinner that that they make. I think what's going to be difficult is afterwards when you know it's time to sit down together as a family and we'll usually you know have some snacks in front of the TV. Um, obviously I still haven't had peanuts since since I told you I wasn't going to have them anymore. Um, I haven't had any, and I don't plan on having any. But what I usually do is have some ninety or ninety nine percent um chocolate and i hope that i'm not going to be too um i don't know too the, the carb toddler is not going to come out on me and we're going to stamp my foot and say i want to have chocolate so um i think if i have maybe a nice um cup of chai tea or um or the doppel pasta one that i just showed you earlier in the video and um, just something to have to ingest while those guys are having their chocolate and their nuts so we'll see what happens later so it's around dinner time now it's half five and um i had had the last batch of eggs at 12 30 maybe um i'm starting to feel a little bit peckish but i'm gonna have a few more this time and i'm going to have a few more eggs this time i think i'm gonna have four eggs this time um but i'm gonna put more cheese and more butter because i think it'll help me feel full uh fuller for longer and i think i'm gonna have maybe a little bit of um cream cheese um on the side with them as well so i'm gonna put them on and i'm gonna have I think I said four eggs. So day two and I had a little bit of an issue yesterday evening um, after I had my dinner I started to have some digestive issues um, I started to uh, sorry <laughs> got hair in my mouth um, I started to feel a little bit nauseous and I had some belly rumblings going on and then I had to urgently use the bathroom so I came out of the bathroom really feeling like I needed to have something else to eat um, so I had some um, some a crudo um, Parmaham and I felt immediately better so I decided that I was going to stop doing the fast there and then because I wasn't feeling good I wasn't feeling well um, and I've just weighed myself and I've gained 400 grams so having all those eggs um made me feel unwell and i gained weight so what i'm thinking is and i'm really not happy about this but what i'm thinking is that i might have an intolerance to eggs which wouldn't be fun <laughs> as you can imagine so um i'm thinking that at some stage i'm probably going to have to completely remove them from my diet um and try for four to six weeks without eating any eggs and see what happens now the thought of removing eggs completely is really not making me happy because they form a very large part of my diet 
and it could be why I only managed to get down to kind of 71 kilograms and that was it and and my weight didn't go any further so now this morning I am 76.2 which is not fun I'm not happy about that so I think for the next few days anyway I need to check on um, I need to do some very 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 mindful eating um, I'm, go I'm going to start tracking closely tracking everything I'm eating again I'm going to start using my fitness pal and track everything I'm eating because while it's not a huge weight gain by any means um, it's really not but there is danger there of some slippage back to you know I, i'm at the point now where my jeans are a little bit uncomfortable so it's i'm obviously quite bloated as well so um i really need to do something so apologies to everybody who started the <laughs> the three-day fast with me i'm sorry that i had to cut it short at just a day um but you know i'm a big believer and i've said it before about listening to your body because your body will tell you when something's not right and this definitely wasn't right for me so just today i'm just going to eat when i'm hungry um i'm going to eat smaller portions i think uh, i think my portion control has gotten a bit out of hand as well so i think all those things combined um have got me where i am now so i want to pull it back and be very careful and be very mindful about what i'm eating um and just go from there so sorry about that everybody